This is the Bianchi Oltre XR2 belonging to Stephen Kreuzweg of Lotto NL Jumbo in the classic Bianchi Celeste Blue with flourishes, rather gorgeous flourishes in fact, of pink because currently, at the time of filming this video, Stephen Kreuzweg is the leader in the Maria Rosa of the Giro d'Italia. The Oltre XR2 is Bianchi's aero frame offering, but although it's an aero frame, it still comes in very light at a claimed 800 and 95 grams, which is very, very light indeed. Now, all of the, uh, the tubes are aero profiled. Because of the stiffness gained at the front end of the bike, Bianchi have added ultra thin seat stays just to add a little bit of comfort to the ride. To complement the Italian design, remember this frame, well, this brand have been around for 130 years. We've got some Japanese tech on board in the form of Shimano Durace Di2 throughout. So levers, standard mount brakes, front and rear. Rear mech, front mech, of course, and the, uh, the drivetrain, so the chain set there. Stephen Kreuzig has gone for the classic 5339 permutation, 172.5 millimeter cranks and 1128 at the back. So that will pretty much get him through any mountain stage, especially here at the Duro. Let's take a closer look at the wheels. We've got Dura C50 on the back, so a slightly deeper section rim on the back, and a, a standard Dura C24 on the front. I don't know if that's a spare or that's what you use in the race, but you do sometimes see riders with slightly deeper section at the back than at the front, but this is the permutation we have on Kreuzrich's bike at the moment. Now, to complement the Japanese tech of the wheels, we have the classic Italian Vittoria tyres. These are 25 mil, the Corsa CXs, and they now include graphite in the rubber compound to improve rolling resistance and also grip, especially on those dodgy Italian descents in the rain. Continuing with the aero theme, We've got a fully integrated seat clamp, again, making sure that aerodynamics are optimized, and then a proprietary Bianchi full carbon aero seat post too, topped off with a San Marco Aspeed saddle, which I must admit is really shoved forward. It's right on the limit. I doubt that that could go forward much more at all. So quite an aggressive saddle position that Kreuzvik has chosen here. Looking now towards the front of the bike, We've got FSA full carbon OS99 13 centimetre stem. That's complemented by 42 centimetre width full carbon FSA new Ergo Extra Light bars. Pink bar tape, as you'd expect, of course, for the, leader, the leader sorry, of the Giro d'Italia. And it even got some little FSA stickers on there. And a lovely touch as well to add to that pink colour scheme that obviously means so much. Pioneer, who provide the power meters, have got a little pink custom power meter mount just there and then even a pink Pioneer head unit, a really lovely little touch. Looking at some of the more smaller details now, we've got a chain catcher there, that's supplied by BBB. We've also got remote shifters. If you bear in mind, Kreisreich is well, a remarkably gifted climber, spends a lot of time on the top, so rather than moving his hands around to the hoods and shifting from there, he can shift in relative ease and comfort just on the tops there, which again, very, very handy indeed and wouldn't add too much to the weight of this very light bike. There's a real nice attention to detail on a bike of this caliber as you'd expect in fact little zip ties just to make sure that the cable there for the Di2 rear mech stays in place and the same just up the front of the bike here some little ties just to keep all the cables nice and neat so an incredibly light 7.090 kilograms this weighs in at and I wonder if this bike will end up being the winner of the Giro d'Italia because the origins of the Celeste Blue apparently is the colour of the skies over Milan. Now for another pro bike, in this case Vincenzo Nibali's specialised tarmac, how about clicking just up here and for a load more pro bikes click down to our pro bike playlist just down there and to subscribe to GCN click on the globe.